Today, we have this Cronge X1, which is probably the most powerful and best bang for your buck pit bike that you can buy. This is a 60 volt, 4,500 watt bike. After I assemble this thing, I'm gonna tear it apart so you can take a closer look at things like the controller, the motor, or even this battery, which does have specs on the bottom of it. But let's get this thing assembled and then we'll talk about what makes this thing tick. The first thing we need to do is get this thing out of the box. All right. First impressions, super impressed with the packaging. Everything is individually wrapped. I'd be surprised if we have any scratches on anything in here. I got this thing all unwrapped and this handlebar is held on with two simple bolts that go through the bottom of these. I'm just gonna get that on, that way it will be easier to move the bike around since I'll have a place to grab it. I always like to get them both started before I tighten either of them down. I'm also gonna mount our screen. All right, we got these two bolts tightened up and now I'm just gonna take all these cables and I'm gonna unplug them and re-plug them in here. That way it hides them behind the headlight. Just do it one at a time so that they all go back into the same spot. This thing does not wanna sit on a stand. So we're just gonna lay it down. Let's try this again, like this. So we just push this bolt up through the bottom. We have a, a washer in there, and then we just tighten this on. We are gonna use these included wrenches. So the nut side is a 19, and the other side is probably an 18. And now, we're gonna put on the front wheel. We have two different size spacers, a big one and a small one. The big one is going to go towards the brake caliper side and the small one is going to go on the other. Just going to take our wheel and take our axle, put it in something a little like that. Line up our spacer, get the axle through the spacer, get it through the wheel. Then over on this far side, we take the second spacer, just push that back a little bit, get that in there somehow. There we go. We're just gonna jam that in. There we go. And then we can tighten this right on. And now we're gonna be putting on this front fender. It is simply held on with these three bolts. So we're gonna take those out, get this slotted in, and there's two tabs underneath the number plate that these are gonna go into. Now that we have this thing, fully assembled, let's go over the specs. This is a 60 volt, 27 amp hour battery combined with what I believe is a QS138 motor that outputs 4,500 watts. That gives this thing two thirds of the performance of a Telaria Triple X for one third of the price, which is really good value. But something like this is definitely min max. This thing is investing heavily into this powertrain system and skimping out on other things like your comfort, like this seat. I wanna know exactly what's inside the heart of this. Let's dig into this thing a little bit and figure out what controller it's using and what motor this is exactly. That way we can see what the potential is for this bike at the top end. Let's get into this. I'm not 100% sure what I need to do to get this off, but we're gonna start with these bolts holding on the plastics in the front. That appears to be a four millimeter. The 
before I start removing any more random bolts, we're gonna take out the battery and see what we can see from in here. So I'll just unplug that. And then this is held on with two six millimeter Allen keys. They definitely tighten these bolts down tight when they assembled this. slide out this way. Here is our 60 volt battery. So these three bolts are what hold in your battery. So if we look at the battery, it says we have a 60 volt 28.8 amp hour battery with a nominal power of 1728 watts. And it's made by Udio instead of Tudio? Huh. And it looks like we have a controller box directly above it. And the top one is not a six. I believe this is a five. And let's see what we got for a controller under here. I am not sure. I don't think I've ever seen a controller that looks quite like that. Let's try and take this thing off so we can get a better look at it. And now I have everything laid out in front of you so we can go through all of the things that make up this drive line. Here is the controller for this machine. It is 60 volt with a maximum output current of 260 amps. I could not find an exact match for this controller, but it appears to be most similar to a VTOL EM100 GTS, although it doesn't look exactly the same. I think this might be a custom variant. And on the controller, we also have a CAN bus port here. So potentially, if we can figure out what controller this is, it might be tunable. And the same thing has to go for this motor. This appears to be a QS138, but I actually have a QS13890H on hand, and we can see that this motor is significantly more narrow than this one. And the last piece of the puzzle is going to be our battery. This one is going to be 60 volt, 28.8 amp hours. And one thing of note is that we do have a 420 chain going over to the rear sprocket. You can also see that we have our 12 volt adapter. This steps down our voltage from 60 volt to 12 volt to power our lights and accessories. Let me get that motor cover back on and I'm going to do a little bit of research to see if we can tune this thing at all. With this powertrain, this bike is looking super promising. But in this video, I'm not going to be able to show you how it rides because mine did come in with a broken brake lever. And I want to be able to show you what this thing is like completely stock, so I have to wait until that part comes in. While this powertrain is super impressive, I do have some concerns with the seat quality, considering this is the thinnest, probably worst looking seat I've ever seen come on a bike. But we'll just have to wait and see how it feels. And if it's terrible, you know I'm gonna upgrade it. If information like this is useful to you, hit that subscribe button down below and leave a comment on what you think of this bike. Also leave a like because it helps the channel a lot. And if you're interested in this bike, use my discount code TTR to save yourself 50 bucks off of this thing. In the next video, we'll get this thing out on the road and the trail to see how it performs. But for now, Thank you for watching to the end of this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.